What's going on, guys? Hope you're doing well. So I know a lot of you are probably thinking, is Ryan even going to talk about the backlash from yesterday? Of course I am, but I'm also going to talk about some more. But <laughs> let's go ahead and get into that. So yesterday was supposed to be the big reveal for Project Abandoned. Granted, it was supposed to be a teaser. We were supposed to get more of the game or more of a context of what the game was going to be and what it was going to look like. Um, of course, during this whole thing, the conspiracy still, to this day, they've even went up even further. But going into this, conspiracies were going wild. Everybody was saying Metal Gear Solid. A lot of people were saying Silent Hills. I was on the fence of saying Silent Hills as it kind of made sense, the setting that we were going, that this game was going for. It really matched that of PT, and uh, it looked very similar to it. But again, um, I pretty much stopped my whole speculation when Hassan Karaman got on screen and basically not only one confirmed that he was real, that he was not Kojima, but he also pretty much told us all that he does not work with uh, Kojima in any particular way. So at that point, I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and move on because I don't think this is the case. And a lot of people, again, was like breaking that video down and going, well, look how he's looking to the right. He clearly works with Kojima. He's looking for approval. And I'm sitting there going... Okay, <laughs> let me exit stage left and just uh, move on. But of course, as you guys see, going into yesterday, the conspiracies did not stop. Now, this is, there's a reason why I went into yesterday. A lot of people were like, you know, especially a lot of you asked me in the chat, like, what was my, you know, ex you know, what was I expecting? Sorry, going into yesterday, and I was like, listen. I was pretty neutral on the whole thing, and I think that's really the best approach to go about Project Abandon in general. And the reason why, I see so many of you putting so much stock into what this game could potentially be, whether it be Metal Gear Solid, whether it be Silent Hills, it's gotten to this point where there's so much anticipation for stuff like this that if, once you see the game, if it's not what you guys are expecting it to be, this right here is ultimately just going to kill not only the, the hype for this game, but this is going to kill your overall expectations. And you guys are going to flat out go, in, you know, go into a rage and attack this developer. And like I said about this, even on the live stream, bro, if it's not what you guys are you know, going to expect, you guys are really going to be vocal. And again... It's not like it's really you guys' fault. It's really, it comes back to Blue Box Game Studios. I get what they're doing. They're trying to, you know, build up hype. But with the subtle tweets, the weird tweets like, hey, this game starts with an S and ends with an L, you know, all this stuff. You know, you got Norman Reedus tweeting stuff from Silent Hills. It's like, I get it. You guys are really in tune with this. But at the same time, bro, I'm just keeping a buck, man. If it's not what we believe it's going to be, it's really gonna come back hard on this developer. And I think that's a, a very fair assessment to make when it comes to this particular studio. To go even further with the whole situation, the way that this whole, you know, demo was, or this, um, you know, this whole test was actually handled was pretty unprofessional. No pun intended, but it really was unprofessional. It was by far the worst reveal I've seen in a long time. And one of the biggest disasters in a long time. It's one thing to tell the world that you are ready to go at a set time. It's another to flat out lie and make it seem like you're having this global issue. Cause let's face it, there's no way they were having a global issue. In fact, what was the last developer who's ever had a, an issue like this with any game of that matter with the PlayStation 4 or 5 for, mat or for that matter? You know, it's just like, there's nothing of that sort. This right here was clearly a front and a ruse to build more hype for this game. And when you hear what I'm about to say next, going into the next news of this, it's like, bro, it, it really does add up at the same time. It's like, there are many ways for you to build up hype. And this right here is just not the way to go about it. Playing with gamers' emotions is the only, it's not the way of doing it. It really isn't. Now to go back into the whole, um, the overall reveal, you know, what we saw, it's just like, you know, we saw 12 seconds of this on Twitter, 12 seconds. Now, from what we saw in those 12 seconds that was revealed on Twitter, the 12 seconds we saw was a character walking away. It looked like he was leaving a house, right? If you look at the, you know, comparisons of that particular character model and you look at PT, it is very similar in many ways. It's it's pretty much shot for shot the same if you think about it. It really is. And many people are looking like that and going, well, that might be it again. I hope it is. If it's not, you see how I'm going with this? The expectations is going to hurt this game. And it's like, bro, this is where this studio really needs to stop when it comes to stuff like this. Unless you are truly committed and you are truly going to do it, and this is actually the case. 
playing with emotions like this never it never plays off well for the game it just really doesn't this is me speaking as a fan at the end of the day now let's go into the uh part two of this and why potentially this game was delayed uh, courtesy of uh, James Jarvis, we're possibly going to get an announcement tomorrow for a new state of play for the PlayStation 5. Now, if that is the case and we're going to get this announcement, the show is reportedly going to be on the 19th of this month. This is actually a big deal for Sony, if I remember correctly. And um, what's, what's cool about this, because if we do get it you know, on the 19th, again, it goes back to the reports that we heard last time, but of course it was um, August 12th that was supposedly going to be the reveal date. It would be funny, and, and actually it would be kind of it would be, be hilarious because if it is tomorrow for the announcement, again they waited on the day of the original uh, leaked reveal for this show to announce this going into 19th. Again, we kind of already figured it was going to be delayed because it got leaked. Because again, nothing's safe in this industry when it comes to these uh, events and whatnot. But when you go back to what James Jarvis says, a lot of you probably wonder who's James Jarvis. James Jarvis is basically a producer for the future game show and uh, shout out to them they actually uh, allowed us to be uh, one of the streamers so that was pretty cool but yeah he's one of the uh, uh, producers for the future game show and he's saying that there's more likely going to be an announcement tomorrow uh, come there so again you know take that for what you will Roberto Serrano also is adding more credits to this as well too so again it's up to you what you guys want uh, again when it comes to this type of reveal but it, it's really up in the air now, to move on to my last little news here, and this right here is a pretty big one. Sony spent over $1 billion and they acquired Crunchyroll. Now, I know a lot of you are wondering why in God's name would Sony buy Crunchyroll? Well, it's very simple. If you guys remember, Sony was testing a few things in Poland. They were testing their video service in Poland. And uh, that right there was actually, uh, you know, a small little a hint of what they wanted to do in the long run. As you guys know, Crunchyroll gives, you know, you access to TV shows, remember correctly, and also films in that particular service. That's how it works for the anime uh, service. And so it would make sense to go with that. But also there was reports, however, that Sony is looking to merge Crunchyroll and PlayStation Plus together now there's no talks of an increased price whatsoever so this would be more so one of those benefits type of deals where you just get this on top of obviously the games you get for the month uh monthly service the whole thing and you would get access to the shows the whole nine yards and this would be thrown in there unless sony's announcing some kind of ultimate type of deal um this right here would actually be pretty cool in the long run because again you're getting more for your dollar in the long run when it comes to the service and it'll be cool to see what they do but if they do start doing ultimate stuff then that will kind of make you question a few other things in the future such as playstation plus is plus going to be next in line to finally get merged with playstation plus that we've been talking about before as you know kind of like a theory but we've been we've been mentioning that before uh as far back as 20 um 18 or 19 i think we said this so yeah it's it's been going around but there you guys go there's my quick little thoughts on the whole thing let me know what you guys think in the comment section below appreciate you guys for watching you guys have a good one and i'll see you guys first thing tomorrow you guys be blessed it's your boy big cloud aka ryan i am most certainly signing out y'all be good